The common capuchin is a friendly monkey. The capuchin is a member of the family of clawed-tailed monkeys in the order of primates. It is a noisy and agile creature. The common capuchin is also called the white-tailed capuchin. This species of primate is one of the friendliest. In this article you will find a description and photos of the common capuchin. Learn a lot of interesting things about this charming monkey. What does the common capuchin look like? Capuchin common looks smart and brisk. It is very agile and cannot stay in one place. They are friendly and very curious. They are cute and spontaneous animals. They are overly emotional and fearful. Emotions change very quickly. The monkey openly shows all its emotions. Capuchins have well-developed facial expressions. It is the most capable and intelligent species of primates. The capuchin's coat is black or dark brown in color. The back and paws are black. The neck, chest, and shoulders of the primate are yellowish-white. On the muzzle, the capuchin has a pinkish skin color without hair. Around the muzzle, the primate has white fur. The animal has large dark eyes, so the capuchin looks charming and very penetrating. Sometimes dark markings are present above the eyes. The primate also has large triangular-shaped fangs. The common capuchin looks like a small primate and has a flexible and slender body with slender limbs. The average body length of the animal is 35 to 45 centimeters, the tail length is 50 centimeters, and the average weight ranges from 3 to 3.5 kilograms. Males are slightly larger than females. In the wild, the common capuchin lives 20 years, but may live up to 50 years. The capuchin capuchin looks unusual because of its coloration, due to which it received its unusual name. The nape of the capuchin's head forms a peculiar black cap, as if wearing a hood. This coloration of the capuchin resembles the clothing of a monk of the capuchin order. That is why the animal was called a capuchin. The monkey's tail is long and tenacious, adapted for grasping. It can coil several times around a branch. But it is not strong enough, so it cannot hang on it capuchin. The tail helps the animal both in the woods and on the ground. Capuchins move on all limbs and can jump briskly. These small graceful monkeys are very nimble and extremely cautious. Where do capuchins live and how? Capuchins live in the dense rainforests of South and Central America. They inhabit a variety of forest types. They are diurnal animals with an active and mobile lifestyle. In search of food, they spend most of their time in trees. However, despite the fact that capuchins live mainly in the tops of trees, they descend to the ground more often than many other monkeys. Capuchins live in groups of up to 40 individuals. And the greater the number of animals in a group, the greater the chance of confronting large birds of prey. Each group has its own territory, through which the primates move in search of food. Usually their territory is 30 to 80 hectares, and in a day the animals can move a distance of up to 2 kilometers. The group is led by an experienced male, and all group members, as well as females and the younger generation, are under his supervision. While in a group, the animals pay much attention to communication and contact they call each other, brush each other's fur, and catch parasites. At night, they sleep in the dense tree crowns. 
While sleeping, capuchins usually curl up in a ball, cover themselves with their tails and hug a branch. Among the senses of this animal, touch is the best developed. But capuchin does not have good eyesight, and at night he cannot see at all. The animal's sense of smell also often fails it. Every object that the monkey wants to sniff, he holds at the very nose. But quite often makes a mistake, as it can eat what is inedible. It also does not hear well enough, so it is easy to sneak up on it. Capuchins live in constant motion, climbing trees, clinging to tree branches with their long tails, jumping and running. The common capuchin moves through trees using all four limbs, and its tail serves as support. Capuchins are very noisy, their vocal cords are capable of producing a whole variety of sounds. Monkeys can scream, growl, chirp, whistle, purr, and even sing trills. They willingly exchange information with each other and talk. If a group splits up in search of food to establish each other's whereabouts, they call back and forth. Capuchins live peacefully and do not conflict with other primates in the neighborhood and can mix with other families. What do capuchins eat? Capuchins eat mostly fruit, which makes up more than half of the diet of these primates. Capuchins also eat insects and plant foods. Capuchins eat flowers, plant shoots, young leaves, and berries. And also roots, buds, bark, seeds and nuts. Among insects, the primate prefers larvae of caterpillars, beetles, and ants. Capuchin also feeds on small birds, frogs, and lizards. On the leaves of trees and under the bark, the animals scavenge for insects and reptiles. Often the monkeys also visit birds' nests, stealing eggs or chicks. Since capuchins are very clever monkeys, before swallowing a frog, they can first knock it on a tree to clean the mucus. Curious monkeys taste everything new and willingly share with others. These clever primates tap on a nut with a stone to get a tasty kernel. Common capuchin cubs capuchins mature relatively slowly. Males do not become reproductive until they are 10 years old. Females do not produce offspring until they are 7 years old. Capuchins are polygamous. The mating season is from April through July. Females produce offspring once every two years. Pregnancy lasts five to six months. One calf is usually born, but there are also twins. Births usually take place between December and April. The female carries her calf on her back for up to 1.5 months. When a capuchin calf reaches the age of two months, it can leave its mother's side for a short time, and by the age of three months, it is already moving independently. At this time it is getting to know other babies, playing and running around, while the mother keeps a close eye on it and stays close by. It is fed on its mother's milk until it reaches 12 months of age. Babies of the common capuchin try solid food at the age of 6 months. Common capuchin cubs are under constant observation. If one of the cubs is in trouble, the whole group rushes to help. In such a situation, it does not matter whose baby it is, everyone is equal. And if the baby is too far away from its mother, it is the main male who returns the calf to the female. The capuchin is a member of the genus capuchin, which includes many species of primates. If you like this video and want to know more interesting things about animals, subscribe to our channel 
and get the latest and greatest news about the animal world first.